Hello, my name is Chad Bowie. I'm from the Holdridge location, and uh, what we're going to go through here today is class six and class seven uh, in cab crop settings. Okay, so with these newer machines, if you have a iPad, um, any smartphone, Android, iPhone, doesn't matter, they have a really nice app called Go Harvest. And what that's going to allow you to do is download it, have it with you. Um, and once you open it up, it takes you through step by step. So we're just going to hit OK here. We're obviously on an S series. Um, we're going to do, uh, we're going to start out with corn. And then we'll hit save. So it's going to pop up and it's going to give you some different deals here obviously it starts with the outside but down here at the bottom if you hit inside boom there you go and that's what we're going to talk about so it gives us all our uh, rough settings to start out so we're going to come over we're going to move over to the actual machine here so let's just start out with a chaffer clearance so we reach over we're going to hit this first button here and one thing to remember if you're new to these new combines as you can see over here it's going to give us page one and page two. So that's a little bit confusing. And what you do is you just hit the button twice. So you hit it once, you're on the chaffer. Twice, you're on the sieve. So we'll just start out with the chaffer. Um, we're on corn, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to maybe start with that at like 18-ish. And like I said, we're going to hit the button again. And then that'll take us to our sieve. Um, Let's just start with it around eight or seven, seven or eight. Okay. So then we're going to move over to our um, threshing clearance. So we're going to hit that button. Excuse me. That's your threshing speed. So when we hit that, um, that's going to bring up our speed. And remember, we got to have our uh, separator engaged and uh, the combine running at full speed to set that. Um, so once you hit that, we're probably going to start at around that 350, 400. Then we're going to move over, and when we hit our threshing clearance, um, let's start with that all probably around 25. And you just scroll your knob over here until it gets to 25. Recommendation on this, an easy way to kind of get started, is if you have a harvested cob and a metric wrench, um, slide that wrench over the cob and whatever metric wrench fits that cob is a, is a very good starting spot. Um, the last but not least, we're, we can set our, our fan. So we hit our fan button and once again, separator engaged, running at full speed. Um, we can probably start our fan speed at around 1200. The only way to truly get this machine set correctly, um, Find a, find a spot to start, start harvesting, get the machine full, check grain tank sample, um, get out, check your ground, and then make adjustments accordingly. Okay, so now that we kind of went through a little bit of the corn, we're going to discuss um, when you're ready to switch over, maybe to go to soybeans. Um, so we're going to go back to our Go Harvest app, and all you got to do is hit these little four squares at the top. And it's as simple as that. See, we we're on crop corn dry. We just touch that, change setup. Then you scroll to our soybeans, hit save, go back to our inside, and voila, there's uh, some rough settings to uh, start out for our beans. So now we're going to switch over from corn to beans on our machine. So we will hit H, which is our setup tab, and then we'll scroll. Actually, you can just touch that and then we'll scroll down to soybeans and go back home. And now you can see we've switched over to soybeans. Now, not to confuse anybody, but we do not have our second display in here. So um, with your second display hit up, when you switch your crop on it, it will do that step for you automatically. But if you're not running a second display, that's how you'd switch it over to beans. And then uh, we'll start out. Same buttons, obviously. We go to our chaffer first. Um, 
soybeans sometimes are not a whole lot different than corn. Um, maybe turn it down just a skosh to maybe 16 to start and then hit it again for our sieve and then let's maybe go to six. And then we will go to our threshing speed once again. Uh, machine's got to be engaged, running at full speed. Uh, maybe start that at like uh, 550, 600. Then we'll go to our threshing clearance. And, you know, that's not going to be a whole lot different. You can maybe, you could maybe even start with it right on 25 or maybe even go uh, to 28, 26. And once again, this is just, this is just starting recommendations. Um, then our fan speed, we'll hit that once again. Machine's got to be engaged. Um, fan speed on beans, uh, probably anywhere from uh, 1,000 to 1,100. Like we visited about on corn, same thing. Get the machine full, um, then shut everything down, take a grain tank sample, check the ground, um, make end cab adjustments accordingly. So with that, if you have any questions um, with what we went through here today, uh, the simplest thing is just contact one of your landmark locations and someone there can uh, help you out. Thank you.